They're trying to come out and say, oh, well, you do it, so we're going to go do it. Okay, and yes, are there self-hating brothers out here who just think white women are better? Yes, there are. But personally, my belief is that there's a lot more self-hating black women out here who believe that white women, white men are better and want to turn it into this big fucking competition of, of oh, we're going to get white. Well, it's not even about white. Men are, black men are just like, yo, we're not fucking with the sisters because of all this bullshit over here. And that's what they've been doing silently. They've been doing that for decades. Shit. But it's like, it's like, now all of a sudden, and I'm not singling you out, but I'm saying now all of a sudden, you know, I see your point in your video, but... Okay, he goes on and on and on. First of all, let me say this. Um, that's a snippet of a video um, from YouTube, this dude, Sergeant Willie Pete. He's a very, very controversial uh, user. Um... His channel is primarily targeted towards um, black women and our faults. Um, and the reason that black men are now deciding to date outside of the race. And his theory in this video, or more so his explanation of why black women are now deciding to... Um, also date outside the race. It's difficult to talk about it really without being blunt and honest about my views on interracial dating. And I really try to stay away from really, really touchy subjects like that. Um, just because, you know, I know several people who do date interracially. And so, I would like to express my opinions on it, but, I mean, it is what it is. I got to be honest. And honestly, I personally don't have a problem, per se, with interracial dating. Um, but it's not for me. I personally don't date outside my race. Just because I'm black and I believe that the man that I do find will be able to relate to me more and I'll be more comfortable with him um, if he's black. I just feel like it's, it's hard enough to take two totally different people with two totally, totally different personalities, different ideals from different backgrounds within the same race and put them together and, and make the relationship work and make it last and then you add in you know the backlash from from not even society, just from your peers, you know, going over to meet his family and his family may not accept me. And him coming into my family and sure my family is going to put on a, a nice face, but it, it would still be uncomfortable. It would be weird. And then the matter of, you know, the children, whether to raise them, you know, what will they, what will they identify with and all that. And I just feel like it's a lot of extra. Um, that's not worth it to me. That and the fact that, aside from Chad Michael Murray and Leonardo DiCaprio back in the day, I've never really been attracted to a white man in that way. And I mean, I might see one and think he's cute, but I couldn't see myself, you know, like, kissing one, like, being in a relationship with one. Now, that being said, <coughs> I almost feel a lie. <laughs> because what I wanted to say was, like, I don't think twice about black men dating white women. And that would be a lot. Because I have seen just this fine dude with Marsha Brady at the mall. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? And it wasn't the fact that she was white. It was the fact that she was plain looking is the deal. You know, if I see a very attractive guy and I see him with a, you know, a pudgy girl or, you know, an unattractive girl, you know, I would think twice about it. You know what I mean? It's, it's kind of in that same category. Um, and also, too, just because <clears throat> the thing is, we're already a minority. There's already less of us than there are of them. Right there, period. Okay, our, our, our 
are opportunities for a black match is already smaller. You know what I mean? And then if you take out uh, the down low brothers and, and the homosexual men, if you take out those convicted felons or those currently serving time, if you take out those with um, uh, disabilities, I mean, I mean, this is the list goes on and on and on of all the men that you could take out. Once you take out all of that and leave men who have jobs, who have vehicles, who have their head, you know, on their shoulders, who, who value marriage and a family, the pickings are slim. They're very slim. And when I see a white girl or Mexican girl, Hispanic girl, Puerto Rican girl, whatever girl, when I see a girl with a man who's, you know, got dreads and gold teeth and two felonies and two baby mamas, that doesn't upset me. That does nothing for me. I'm not upset just because the fact they're black and white. Psh, what's that got to do with me? Um, but when I see a, a desirable man with a white girl, it does take me back. I won't front. Or when I see dudes like Kobe Bryant or, you know, guys who were who with black women, then they hit it big and they want to shun them. And then they grab a white girl and they flaunt her as though she's a prize, you know, like she's a car, like she's jewels or something, you know, or um, that, I mean, it doesn't piss me off. I don't know him. I don't know her. But it, it, it does set me back a bit. I won't lie about that. I'll be honest. Um, but I just feel like the whole idea that it's a competition, the whole idea that those black women who have made their decision to date outside the race are doing it because black men are dating outside, I don't I don't think that's a fair statement. I honestly don't. Because if I did make the decision to, it wouldn't be based on what other people are doing. It would be an, an individual decision. It would be something that I would do for me. Um, but I personally want to be with a black man and I hate the fact that which I've heard this guy Sergeant Willie Pete on several occasions say is that the reason black men are dating outside of the race is because of black women you know what I mean because we're bitter because we have bad attitude problems because we don't understand our role in the relationship because we're gold diggers because we're this because we're that because we're obese because you know we don't value fitness and health and and are some of those things true? Most definitely. Every time I go to McDonald's or I go somewhere, I see a sister with an attitude. You know what I mean? And I see fat girls all the time of every race. So that's the thing. You have to deal with it on an individual basis. You don't decide, I'm not going to date my race. I'm going to date outside the race because I had three black girlfriends who messed up. Now, if you want to date white girls, that's your thing. Do your thing. But don't blame it on a couple girls and try to clump that in on a whole race. You know what I mean? It, like it's totally ridiculous to me I don't understand that way of thinking you know and I've dated men in the past all the men who I've dated have been black and they've all cheated on me they were all immature they all you know had their own issues but doesn't that mean every black man that I come into contact with is going to do that to me no it doesn't I mean it could be could be every man I ever meet is going to cheat on me I may never get married you know what I mean that could be the case but it's not because they're black it's because of the choices that I, I'm making honestly that's it if every single person that you're with has these same character traits it's not that race it's the people that you're picking you need to take a look inward is all I'm saying